In this tutorial, you will learn how to retrieve orthologs for a list of genomic regions and run a comparative analysis on them to identify phylogenetically conserved regulatory structures. For this, we will use the program orthologous regions in the NGS analysis menu. It uses Synteny and sequence similarity to identify orthologs of genomic regions that you upload in a bad format file. Then we will search for conserved transcription factor binding site patterns with Frameworker. As input, we'll use a bad file with the genomic positions of STAT1 binding regions in interferon gamma stimulated HeLa cells. This is a subset of the original set of regions, which was selected based on the presence of a specific predominant pattern of STAT binding sites. OK, now it's loaded and I can select it in my bad file list. We are going to look for orthologs in mouse, rabbit, rat, horse, dog, cow, and pig. As the analysis will take some time, I choose this option to let the system send me an email when the result is ready. Now here's my result. Let's have a look at it. First, we get some statistics as to how often an ortholog was found in each organism and how many orthologs were found per region. Next, we get a list with all stat binding regions with their orthologs. Not for every region an ortholog was found, but we can scroll down a bit here. And here we find a region with six orthologs in mouse, rat, horse, dog, cow, and pig. Let's have a look at it in the genome browser. Here is our region shown as user sequence in orange, and we have some other annotation as well, transcripts, promoter regions, repeat regions, and a color code for the sequence. We are looking at this area with a high zoom level, so let's zoom out a bit to see a larger area around the stat binding region. We can drag our region more to the center to see the neighboring loci downstream and upstream. OK, let's close the genome browser window and go back to our list. From here, we can run a comparative analysis on the orthologous sequences with Frameworker to find common patterns of transcription factor binding sites and with Dialine TF for a sequence alignment including positions of common binding sites. Let's run a Frameworker analysis. We will be looking for patterns that contain core promoter elements and vertebrate binding sites. I'm going to set a few parameters here. We want to see the common patterns in at least four of our seven orthologs. The human ortholog has to be included in any case. And lastly, the pattern must contain a stat binding site. OK, now we can start the framework. The longest common patterns we find consist of three binding sites. We have three different models with this number of elements. We can click this link to jump to a description of the first of these models. The model contains a binding site for AP1-related factors, another one for EV1 protein, and our mandatory stat binding site. Here we see a graph of this pattern that was found in human, mouse, rat, and dog. The next model contains binding sites for octamer binding protein, EV1, and STAT in the same four species as the first one. The last is again a combination of AP1R, EV1, and STAT, this time with the AP1R site match on the plus strand. OK, that's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and as always, do not forget to have a look at the other tutorials on our site.